Hey guys, so I'm back again. I'm back from Japan. It's been a couple of days already. Super exhausted still. Great uh, trip, all in all. Even though with the weather and everything, uh, with GoFest was amazing. Our uh, worlds was amazing. Uh, <clears throat> I had a, a giveaway for potentially winning some world exclusive items if they got. Uh, if they're able to guess right what what I, what I went as for GoFest Osaka. And I went through all the comments of my posts on Instagram and YouTube. And nobody got it right, sadly. I was hoping that someone would get it right. But nobody did. These were some of the stuff that would potentially be able to give away. Not this, sadly. This is actually was quite difficult to get per se not really but in the end also it was like pretty much everyone who went to the pokemon center for the worlds was able to was guaranteed one basically to buy at, at msrp but you had to have a pass for the uh poke world's pokemon center to get in you could just walk in you couldn't just wait in line to get in you had to actually Either have one win the lottery, two have a, a spectator pass, pa spectator pass or a competitor pass with the wristband that allowed you and three other people to go in. So you you had to either have that or find somebody who had extra spots in their with their spectator slash competitor badge wristband to go with them. So it's actually you actually had to you know do some decent work to try to get inside it wasn't that easy and especially since the ma vast majority of the people there were japanese i don't know japanese like that so I could, how can you communicate with somebody that oh do you have extra spots in your uh party could i come in so i had to wait for like english speaking groups that were going in and it was a whole hassle but it was, it was, it was a great adventure but nobody got got right what I was dressed the bass for uh Go Fest Osaka and I went nothing too hardcore, just simple because I already expect I already knew what to expect with the heat, which was extremely hot, extremely humid to be walking out for hours on in in the sun in that park. Uh, like I, I got had to be something simple. So I basically basically just went as a uh, Squirtle Squad Squirtle. So I had my little Squirtle shirt on blue shorts and I actually bought the Squirtle Squad of Squirt of Asher Squirtle's sunglasses so that's ba it was something simple but something fun to do so I went as that nobody seemed to have got that one right not even nobody I don't think anybody even said Squirtle to be honest it was like Pikachu Charizard Bill uh and other like random ones so Kind of sucked that nobody got it. I might do another another giveaway for a shot at one of these items in a future date. But overall, it was such an incredible event, such an incredible uh like vacation in general. I went as my for my vacation. It was like grueling because you had to like force yourself to be out and about with that heat, that humidity, having fun. Everything is like it was tiring. Cause everything you bought. You had to carry throughout the day until you got back to your hotel. It's not like when you're at home, you got your car, you just toss it in your car and then go somewhere else. No, you had to carry it with you. And this is like, aside from these, uh, being in Japan, because I've been there in 2017 and then 2019. So being there post -pan uh, the Pandy, uh, it's really eye-opening the way the, the, their market has changed kind of to be honest kind of sad it's like i guess i understand capitalism and all that stuff like that but to a certain point now their 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 market for pokemon is it's pretty much messed up any local player any local person in japan that's trying to connect it's, it's a struggle to collect over there now because Everybody wants their product. Every other country outside of Japan wants their product. And even though their, their product is printed a ton over there, 
if everybody else wants it, they don't they don't get it. And this is where the sad part of the greed in their own community, their own hobby, their own market just takes over. Which, like I said, I understand. There's still, luckily, there's still ways to get product in Japan, but it's just not as abundant as just anywhere else, especially in America, how we have so much product now. Um, a lot of shady dealings, which kind of messed up. Like, Japanese products should not be sold outside of Japan. That's just what the product said. Like, let me see. For sale in Japan only. Straight up right there on the top. And then what these LGS, LGSs are doing now is kind of messed up. So one of what I'm seeing from people who live their friends' experiences, uh, a lot of their, the LGSs, let's say, just give an example. The LGS got like 20 cases of the newest set, which was, let's say, well, I forgot what this one's called. The Dark Ruler of Flames or something like that. Or like Clay Burst. Or like 151. They get the news, so they got like 20 cases of these. Let's just say for an example. 15 of these cases are going to automatically get backdoored and sold out of the country for like the highest amount. Straight up. Because a lot of these boxes are like MSRP is like 50 bucks, under 50 bucks. And then they're selling it for 150 bucks a box out of the country instantly. And then, so they sell the 15 cases and then they stick with 5 cases for themselves. And then they don't really sell whole boxes they do have some pre-orders but a lot of them they 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 would just limit four or five per pack five per five four or five packs per customer per day and then that's how they show like oh we still have product we're selling it because obviously they'll get in trouble if pokemon finds out that they're backdooring their product and selling it out of the country for like the highest bidder They'll, they'll lose their, their, their contract, their license to sell Pokemon. So they do that. They sell 15 box cases, and they keep five for themselves. And then they, oh, yeah, it's a limit of four or five packs per person per day. So that way it still shows that they're still selling product, even though reality, the majority of their, like, the majority of their product is gone already. They, they sold it. It's gone. It's, it's out of the country. They sold it out of the country for top dollars. Cause over here in America, you can you see all these streamers with these products. You see it everywhere. You see them with cases of them flexing them on Instagram, Twitter, all these websites. You see, oh, they have cases, cases. And over there, like a local person, you there's no way for you can really get a box from like a store. Really, to be honest, it's like the only way for you to get a box is you have to buy it from the secondary market. Pokemon Center doesn't really sell boxes anymore unless you get them from their website once they have the lotteries and the releases so that's kind of sad for them sucks for them how their their market is being so heavily manipulated by the lgs's over there instead of them taking care of their own customer base they immediately just get the highest profit they can get and i get to a certain extent but at one point like they're basically just saying their, their own customer base, screw you guys. We don't really care about you. We're just going to get more money from somewhere else, from other countries. And it kind of sucks. Like, I remember 2019, the last time I was there before this time, uh, I was able to go to Pokemon Center, and then they just had the packs hanging there on the on the racks. I think it was like the Japanese version of the tag team set, like Unbroken Bond and all that stuff. And I would just buy them just to open them, have fun. I wasn't really too heavily into the cards, especially Japanese. I always prefer the English one. I still do. And then now and they can't even find packs in Pokemon Center. Like you have to like go through a big line and get your five packs per person per day. Max. And then it's just so crazy. Like even the Pokemon Centers, they're like before I used to go to travel to different Pokemon Center because each one was kind of unique. So they had the the Pokemon Center Mega, so I had like Mega Pokemon statues and certain like items for there. The Sky Shoe with the Rayquaza and has special items for that. You had the the XD one. You had so many other the Shibuya one, 
And now you go into these ones in all the Pokemon Center. All their product is basically cookie cutter. Everything's the same thing in every single Pokemon Center. The Shibuya has like very some exclusive stuff. But in reality, it's like if you go to one, you've been to them all. There's no real big thing, difference except for like their statues, which is still cool. But I remember like going to the Yokohama one. And then that one, it's just like by the water, by the ports. It's water themed. They had like the boat Pikachu's and all this cap, like stuff like that. It's just so cool. But now it's just like it's all kind of the same. So that kind of sucks. Hopefully things get better over there for them. But in general, that aside, the trip was amazing. I I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, probably be my last time going to Japan in quite a while. To be honest, I have, my son's gonna be born in like two more months. So, you know, uh, so much more responsibility is going to be there. And then can't just go away to Japan or any other big trip, you know, leaving my, my, my child there, my family in general. So, like, Japan is it's a minimum two-week trip for the distance. You can't just go for the weekend. So, And then World, they announced it's going to be in Hawaii next year. So, maybe, maybe that's a play. Go to that one, have fun. Go for like half a week there, enjoy that trip. We'll see though, cause Hawaii sounds kind of expensive. <laughs> Just getting a hotel and everything like that. But yeah, mm, I'm a like I said, I'm going to do another giveaway in the future, so some people could probably get win some stuff. It might not, I might not have these higher items. The more limited items. These were actually pretty hard to get. These are like the dices, the, Yo the Yokohama World's exclusive dices, which were pretty harder to get. So I might not have these, but I will have for sure some other stuff. I have like the mats, the sleeves. I have some of the dolls and whatnot. The 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 plushies, the Pikachu plushies. Here are some. I was only able to get two sets of five of the 151 packs. That's all I was able to find out there. It's so hard to get packs in general. But, yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll see which is the next video I'll talk about next week. But thanks a lot for joining the journey. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.